Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room. So today we are making my 2019 jumbo tag flip book. <laughs> Little album, if you will. But basically we're just going to put it on a um, little binder ring. And we are making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven jumbo tags to go along with the um, the holidays of 2019. So I need to start off with some um, cardstock. I kind of see. I'm debating. I think I want to do. Uh, well, I can't really do everything pink, can I? <laughs> I thought it would be fun to have all of the tags kind of coordinate colors. But I don't think that's going to really happen. Maybe this creamy yellow. Let's grab that. Okay, so let's cut our paper in half, so five and a half, mm, that is quite a jumbo tag right there, <laughs> so maybe let's do four and a quarter. For some reason, it looked bigger. <laughs> Four and a quarter by. Well, I guess four and a quarter by five and a half looks nice. Yeah, I think those will be good chat. A good jumbo tag. Four and a quarter by five and a half. Normally, I try to do skinny, but I think. Doing a fat tag will be kind of fun. <laughs> so I need how many? I said seven. One, two, four. So I don't need that extra piece of cardstock. Five and a half. Four and a quarter. Let's do our normal, <laughs> what I normally do is just take my scallop punch scallop circle punch and just do the edges. Whoa, I was a little off on that one. Whoa. For some reason I can't. <laughs> Let's try that again. That looks fine. But I'm kind of debating that I don't really like that now. Hmm. I don't know. Something I don't like about it, but I don't know what. I feel like I need like more of a <laughs> like a a swirl or something. I don't know. Let me look at my punches real fast. Okay, let's test something. <laughs> We're just going to do a little bit of a tester here. Actually, I should probably put it this way. So I don't have little pieces flying out at me. Maybe. 
be this will look good. Okay. I think I like that. Yeah. Let's go with that. That looks a lot nicer, I think. <laughs> I think it's probably because I'm not used to doing chubby tags. I'm used to doing the really long, narrow. So that's why it probably looks a little different to me because I can't really use the same style that I would do with the normal tags. It just won't quite work right. I think this will look really good. And then that way, all of tags will be a little cohesive without being exactly the same. Since I'm doing different holidays and it'll be different kinds of paper, different styles probably. I think it'll just be nice to have that underlying kind of sameness, <laughs> I guess would be the... All right. <laughs> All those extra little pieces there. Let's put that to the side. Do our... Corners here. I don't know, I just, this is one of those things where I just, I love how it looks and I probably will never change the, <laughs> me using this as my little tag. The heck? Get in there. To create my side, my sides of the tags. Until I come across something cuter, you know. <laughs> Okay, tag bases are done. Now I need to go ahead and punch my hole. Yeah, hole punch is a little clogged. So then, um, when I do my paper on top, I'll be able to just punch it again. I'm not punching through two layers that way. now my papers so I need um, 
I've got some papers already over here that I should be using. Let's pull them out here. Let's go, let's work backwards. So we'll do Christmas first. Pull my Christmas paper out here. All right. I kind of feel like let's do a side strip of that. Just kind of snowflake pattern. So let's go let's go right up to the hole. Actually I think I want to grab grab a different piece of paper first and put that down. I'm actually going to grab a piece of Christmas card. I'm doing a green and kind of um, oh, none of these are really looking like what I want to use. Huh. Oops. <laughs> it's stuck to my Actually, actually, <laughs> hold the phone. Let's use this doily. But I'm actually gonna let's cut it in half. So I don't need to use all of it here. Let's wrap that around. That's fun. Use some hot glue for the back side of it. the ridges and the flower there, the rose. Okay, and then we'll use that. Placement here. Okay. 
I don't want to cover up too much of that. Like that, I think. I don't want to cover too much of the doily. Yeah. You know. Look at my tags here. I kind of want a bigger, not really like in the green there. I think I do need a um, more of a blue white hmm. that kind of looks nice oops jingle bow down <laughs> Oh, how about that? I think he's a little bit too big. <laughs> yeah. being so picky, I know. <laughs> put that on, put that on there and then Get a Christmas sentiment and put it right there. I think that works out awesome. Christmas. Hmm. I had a sticker set. I don't remember what I did with it though. <laughs> Isn't that always what happens? You know. I have to get this place organized sometime. Oh my word. Because I actually I want to use Christmas, Merry Christmas, because you know that's what it is. This is the Christmas jumbo tag. Oh, I almost forgot that jingle bell. A jingle bell. I could use a stamp, I guess. I guess that would be fun to. But I don't know where I put that. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to have to use a stamp and that's okay. Let me grab. This little guy. I'm going to have to. Go into another part here soon. Hopefully we can get this tag done and then in the next part we can move on to the next tag. Hmm. 
think we'll use the whole stamp set because it's a holiday stamp set. Maybe we'll use it for all of my holidays. <laughs> all right, I'll go ahead to do that. <laughs> All right, and then let's go ahead and put this little guy on there. I'm gonna tie my bow. I could take the string off, but I think the cute little red bow will be nice. Get my hot glue gun. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love that. I think we'll wait to do all the strings at the end together. So that is part one, our Christmas tag. So next part we'll be doing our Thanksgiving tag. So I'll see you then. I hope you're having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.